another angel what were you asking again hi bob what's up hi shining douglas everybody welcome welcome i got uh kevin mccloy copy free music live i'm giving him a shout out kevin mccloy and he's playing some piano i like the piano he does subtle anyways everybody give it a shout out and uh we're looking at uh, our skies today just some of his footage i told him i'll give him a shout out in the future and this is the future our skies i hope you see this today um here's my channel guys i'm gonna give you our skies uh channel right here i'm gonna post it and uh the guy does good work he's in i think he's in i don't know where he's at <laughs> I want to say Michigan, but I'm not sure. Anyways, anybody know uh, our skies? Russ, give him a shout out. Tell him I got his videos running. Uh, Roger Paul, this is one of you'll see one of Roger Paul's sightings over here. But these guys, Roger Paul and uh, and our skies today, Russ, they guys work together. They do great work. Um, they don't even get as near the views they should get, you know. And so uh, give them a shout out on the bottom. You'll see our skies today. Just punch that in your YouTube heading or use that link I gave you. So if you guys got something that's like burning, like I got to I got to get people to see my my video I put up. It's amazing. Tack it up here right now in chat. I'll pin it up if I can like that. And uh, we'll run over there and take a look at it live. All right. And we'll get you some views, get you some subs. And uh, it's it's my love to the community, right? Welcome to CCTV, Chris Chris Ratton today. What's up, Bob? Bob Fox. Yeah, another angel. Yep, they have stopped spraying in California. It's just rain right now, but well, you seen the sky I got the other night, and I've been starting to get those, and I've been missing them. But I'm gonna start. I got some new filters for my phone. I got a. Um, HD widescreen. I like, I like uh, Russ's filter. That was cool, Russ. That was a good filter. So anybody who knows Russ, give him a shout out. Leanne, hey, what's up? I'm thinking I'm gonna try to get in your folder this like today maybe, but I don't know. These shows, you know, I start out and it's like two hours later live. So now with Russ over here, guys, he's got a playlist. I'm I'm just playing using his playlist. Let me show you. And uh, if it'll let me, here we go. So I'm just using this playlist right here on the side. You see this? He's got like a hundred and I don't know, 50, 133 uh, videos. The older ones are him rocking out and stuff. I like them too. They were good. Um, just looking. Here we go. Here's Russ. Should yep, be able so to hear that. There you go. And I got a high speed, so he's kind of sound like Donald. Yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> yeah, crazy times. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like me, Donald Duck. You know, and I did the Donald Duck voice, right? So, <laughs> anyways, guys, hope I'm not boring you tonight. Don't want to bore nobody. There's mm -hmm. one I'm, I'm going to show you here. This one's pretty good. It's a 22 minute one. I'm going to jump around like this. Jump past the commercials and stuff. And I got the sound down. And I'm going to turn the speed down. Take the antiquations off. And this is 7 1080p. I hope you guys can get it 1080p. This one's really a good sky. I'm going to jump right to the highlights. The high highlight is a gold sky. Very nice, very nice. Very nice for us, very nice. Another angel, you ain't crazy. All right, I, I asked God, I said like, I'm totally nuts. He said, I could have made you Noah. He goes, I made you Chris, so welcome to my channel. Um, 
I'm crazy for Jesus, and this is like top water bait. This is like the best fishing bait ever for souls. Um, there's a lot of fear going on on the internet, and so I'm not here to bring fear. I'm here to bring reality and truth. Jesus is grace and truth. And so I'm here to bring the message of Jesus, but I'm also here to say, look, guys, signs in the sky, Revelation 8, wormwood's coming. And the reason I do this is I had a vision. A lot of you guys know. Yeah, Bob, mine goes up to 1080. So I, it might be the computer, too, and the graphics card. I don't know. I don't know how they do that. But um, Russ got some good stuff, people. It won't let me access his slide like that in that mode. Let's see. If I go this mode, yeah, I could access it. So what I'm going to do is cross the bottom here. I'm just going to give you some highlights our skies today guys i'm telling you, you don't know what he's going to catch next this is beautiful right here I'll just let this rip Can you guys hear my piano nicely back there in the background Yeah, Bob, it does. It depends on your access to the internet. Um, so I'm watching you guys live on my channel um, over by the chat. It's in real time for me. I'm also monitoring uh, Russ's site. We kept getting this gold. I like stuff like this. You know, there's a, you can see a lot going on, like right in here. That could be the OCG. But this gold um, fire right here, all that iron, iron, uh, iron oxide type dust, just unreal. Great job. Great job, Russ. So anybody know Russ, just give him a shout out. Tell him Chris is uh, showing your stuff. I have total permission for AI and Google and and. Uh, YouTube health that um, I could use all the, all of Russ's stuff. He said, use anything on my channel. He says, show it off. So I'm going to do that because, you know, Russ, he deserves a little shout out for some of this incredible skies. Look at that. Look at that. People, look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Amen, brother. I'm going to pop that scripture in there, Derek. I'll throw it up. We need to see the word of God. You know, I usually have a bunch of scriptures loaded, but today I just kind of, I didn't really load it up. I just wanted to jump on here and hang out with you guys. This is the last days. I want to encourage you guys to not be not afraid of all this. It's going to happen. So, now, um, I told you I'm going to start Saturday and Sunday doing like a little worship thing. Um, it'll be spontaneous, and I'll pick someone new probably every week. So you guys are always welcome to come join me on that. And um, I'm not sure if I did that on Ko-Fi or if I did it here. I think I did it on Ko-Fi TV. Uh, Ko-Fi, C-A-F-I dash TV. That's my channel. Um prophetic last days and what I, I started doing last Sunday I did a worship service on there for like uh, I did like a volcano watch and then I did a worship service so you guys are all welcome to go over the coffee and sign up and watch me hang out with me I mean it was a living room instruments very good sound great worship you know man these guys for us are just I could sit here and watch them with you guys all day <laughs> I'd like to be able to enlarge that picture a little bit. And I can actually like that. There you go. Give me all right. Give me full view. So I'm streaming his uh, one of his, his his my playlist. He has one that's called my playlist, and then that my playlist has all his videos he's been doing the last. I think the last year I see I see him all over Facebook. I see Russ's stuff everywhere. 
I think he has a group on Facebook too called Our Skies Today. And I think also him and Roger, uh, Paul, Roger Paul, they joined teams and did another site. I don't have the name. If anybody knows it, throw it up there. I'll pop it up. Um, so it's our, it's it's Roger Paul and Our Skies Today. It's like a they network together. It's a good channel. It's going to have a lot of different stuff than this has. But I want to give Russ a shout out today. I get like that, guys. I just get kind of in a good mood. Yeah, let's shout somebody out. So what else I can find for you? Yeah, I like this one. He's got way better even than this. Okay, right here. I'm going to let it rip from here for a minute. Enjoy this part. I'm going to slow it down, actually. Uh, I'm going to go to the slowest speed. I'm running at 1080p. That's the highest it will let me run it. So you guys, I'm pumping it in at 1080p. Okay. Let's go widescreen. Now I got that on slow motion. I'm actually watching it on your side. <laughs> what is sex? you guys talking about over here hey Sarah Dippity Dippity Anthony how you doing Robin how you doing welcome all you new subs and you people that have never been here before this is a shout out video and I don't know which direction I'm gonna take it in a minute I got a lot of videos I could show a lot of footage um, shouting out our skies today Thank you, Shining, for guarding the door. Shining's my moderator tonight. Um, I think Garrison's been really busy with the family, so that's good. Anybody want to become a, a uh, moderator, email me at coffeetv18 at gmail.com. So anyways, this is a beautiful uh, sunrise, I think. We're going to watch him. Now, I'm just scrolling through... Uh, our skies is footage and this is amazing i got it on slow-mo so it's actually not wobbling as much <laughs> it's another one of my top trade secrets <laughs> do i have it on slow-mo i do have it on slow-mo goes good with the um seven fifty seven yeah this is like 7.57 in the morning, he says. That was AM. There you go. Look at them waves coming over. I like it, Russ. I like it. All right, let me find you another, another great piece of this footage I seen the other day. I was over here crawling around, trolling around. Okay, so I'm in this playlist, folks, and uh, as any of you could do, but then you wouldn't have me hanging out with you, right? So, hey, you know, if you like hanging out with me, then that's where you want to be. I want you to see this piece. This piece is awesome. This is what inspired me to give him the shout-out, because he's been asking me to do a shout-out, so I said, okay, I'll see. We'll get to it, you know, and... Uh, and this piece is awesome. As we used to say in Maine, it's wicked. <laughs> Let me adjust my screen. I'll get that in a minute, guys. I'm just trying to get a better view. That's the size I got my screen at, right? Watch this.
doesn't want to give me anything bigger than that. So let's go with that. That's a uh, slow mo seven eighty p. Beautiful though. Our skies today. Go sign up. Whenever he gets something live, you better subscribe. He puts a lot of stuff up now because the skies are just exploding. I mean, he'll put a piece out like this and get like 600, 700 views. Um, now, the reason I'm even getting the views I'm getting is I'm using Facebook a lot. But look at this, uh, like a Y, B kind of tail. White thing in the middle is just not right. It could be a moon. It could be the lead object from um, the whole planet X system. The red clouds split up like this could be the tail of a lot of meteors coming in from the OCG, the um, obstacle cluster group. We've got this thing. See how they run off? This white thing, I guess, white object could be the lead object, folks. I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping it is. That's what I'm narrating, right? And, you know, this is the sun, let's say, the yellow. I see this big white over here, kind of the big white. That could be R2 coming up, R2's giant moon. The reason I put this on slow mo is it's, it's a really good thing to watch for a minute. You guys, shout that out. Now, I don't know. Let me look and see if I can find the date for this. Um, we'll figure it out. I'll figure it out in a minute. I don't want to interrupt it. Man, that's awesome, Russ. Now, this is... My computer runs high-definition R uh, with the, the video card I have now, my new computer. It actually brings up whatever I'm watching a notch. It actually brings it up to a higher quality, higher definition quality. So on my old computer, this thing don't look so great. But on my new computer, it looks pretty bright, looks pretty brilliant. It almost looks like filters. But you can see, you know, right here, folks, you could see the blue, turquoise, bluish, different than the blue down, the skies down here, like the normal skies by the edge of the building here. Now, right here, could be that lead object just filling the sky up right in there. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Let's go half speed. Let's see what that's like. Yeah, go rest. I think, I think he might have shared this from Roger Paul. I'm not sure if he shared it from somebody, but if anybody knows Russ, you know. That's amazing, Russ. Wow. Check that out, people. That's amazing. You can feel that sky. So, I don't see anybody tagging any kind of video on there. They want to shout out. But if you guys want to shout out a video, give me the link, and I'll pop it up. We'll look at some of your stuff. You got a playlist, we'll look at a bunch of your stuff, you know. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me. No COVID virus here. <clears throat> so one of the things I want to do right now is I want to pray over all you folks that are in here. Um, it's 26, but on the on the YouTube, buddy, it shows about 45 people watching in here right now. So I don't get accurate readings from uh, YouTube, but the YouTube buddy I use, I do. Um, so, Father, I just ask right now in Jesus' name, I come to you and ask that you put a hedge of protection, total protection on every soul. I'm one John shining, another angel. Um, everybody in here, Debs, I'm just looking, Robin. I just pray over them, protection, a hedge. Bob, I pray over him. Dennis, I pray over you. Welcome, Dennis, welcome. I pray over Shining. I always pray over Shining. He's always here. Garrison, I pray over you. I'm just going through Gil, I pray over you. 
So Father, I pray over all these people. If I miss anybody, I pray over Maddie. I just pray for protection from the COVID-19. I pray from the, the fear. I bind the fear and I command it to go right now. And I speak peace, even like this piano is playing. I pray over Dennis too, Father. I pray over all you guys for life, protection. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord and him and God will I trust. Not no vaccine. I trust in God, folks. And I pray right now that you guys just be tucked away in God's arm in the shadow, right up in his armpit, in God's armpit of glory. And uh, be protected in Jesus' name and healed. If you're starting to get it, it's bound. Whatever you think you're starting to get, head cold or whatever, and you're hoping it's not COVID-19, coronavirus, I bind it right now. You're not going to get it. Blow your nose, rebuke it in Jesus' name, and do some worship. Ha <laughs> ha! That's my remedy, Dr. Chris. So remedy today is worship, call on the name of Jesus, and be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Rick. See, guys, man, put scriptures up. You know, we're a Christian channel. You know, we welcome everybody. I mean, from those who are ascending to uh, UFO people. All these guys that they want to see him too, you know. We're waiting on Jesus, but we'll get to see this while we're waiting. I mean, God didn't make it boring, people. Come on, give him some glory. Look at that. I mean, and how many lifetimes have you seen that sky yet that Russ showed from our skies today? Shout out to Russ. I wish Russ would show up. I'm looking for him. I'm not looking at you guys chat. I'm looking through all the chats. I'm speed chatting, talking. And then you guys, you take authority over that COVID. Don't be putting up with that. The word COVID comes from the Greek word Coronas. Coronas was the daughter, the daughter of the mythology, whatever, demon mythology uh, of Athenius. Anyways, child of death, destruction, representing the black crow, that darkness. Not just take authority over, it's just a demon that's been released because the black horse is riding. And the pestilence is flowing because that's what the black horse brought, right? So, that's a hard time. If we're rebuking the black horse and, and God's released the horses, I don't know if we can rebuke it. Would it have any power? I, I think we can protect one another in prayer, right? Okay. Check that out, Russ. What you what you say in your skies don't look great. That's whoosh. booyah. Look at that sky, folks. Planet X on top, sun on bottom, white planet on the left of the sun. It's probably more coming too. I like this in slow motion though. With that piano. Uh, it's denial. Ellen, you know what Jesus said, Ellen? Jesus said, some will never see <laughs> if they don't believe. But he also said, like he said, um, a wicked and a perverse generation seeks a sign, but they can't see it. The only sign I'm going to show them is a sign of Jonas which was in the belly of the well for three days. And like the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, sent from God as a sacrifice, was in the belly of the earth for three days. And when he rose from the dead this week, <laughs> resurrection week, resurrection, yeah. Re resurrection week, week, get it right. Stumbled on my own tongue. But that, that's perfect to show for resurrection right there. So, you know, got on a little rant there. Hey, a little preach rant. Anyways, I like these guys for, uh, I don't like to use the word Easter. I'm not really into the, the whole symbolic thing of Easter and the goddess of Esther and fertility and the bunny rabbit. I'm not into that scene at all. False doctrine as far as I'm concerned. I won't argue about it. But anyways, people like it. More power to them. Romans 14, they're only fully persuaded in their own mind. But I do believe in the resurrection of God every day. But I like resurrection week because I think about Jesus like 10 times more. And I get like 10 times more excited about the same spirit that was in Jesus is in my body. And it raised him from the dead and it could quicken me from that stupid COVID virus. We're not supposed to say the word coronavirus. Coronavirus don't scare me. Uh-oh, we came to an end of a video. Hang on, people. I got this on auto drive. Watch this. I got to get rid of that commercial. 
trying to interrupt my preaching time. Anyways, guys, you know, I, I like I like uh, resurrection. I like Passover, resurrection week. I like the whole passing over and that whole thing, you know. I'm into it. Oh, check this out, folks. What's up? What's up, Russ? What's up with this guy, Russ? Why, not, why are you hiding this, Russ? I'm slowing that down, people. That's insane. And then you can take this up to 1080p. That's what I got it on, 1080p. Okay. That's some freaky stuff. So happy resurrection, Passover week, folks. I love you. Did you hear my shofars go off in the last couple videos? One of the last videos. Yeah. Thank you, Linda. That was that for me, Linda. <laughs> Check out that. What are you what are you showing, Russ? I don't have Russ on there live, guys, but if anybody knows Russ, you know, let's keep saying send them because he's been waiting for this shout out. He'll show up once in a while and say, Chris, show my stuff. He'll show up on a chat. Chris, show my stuff. So here we go, Russ. I wish you were here. One John, I'd be like dead. I'd be like a piece of, I'd be like a piece of Popeye's chicken if you put an app in my phone and fries me every time I miss a text. I must miss 15 texts a day. You know why? I'm hanging out with the king. I wasn't thinking about it. Sorry, but you know I'm not sorry about hanging out with the king. I love hanging out with the king. You know, I'm fr I'm totally committed to Jesus. I'm totally fruitcakes for Jesus. I got my page so small I can't even see my own my own chat. It's good guys. I like uh, Russ's skies here. Got a little lag time on that. Okay, let's see what I can find, guys. Let's see what I can find. All right, I'm gonna shrink the page. Nope. Check that out. What in the world? That not gnarly. Russ should have got 1,500 hits on that the first day. Right there. 1,500 hits on that. Easy, Russ. Come on. Somebody shout that out. That's insane looking. Amen, Alan. Amen. I can't live without Jesus. I wouldn't know how to wake up. It's hard enough to wake up with Jesus. Imagine walking, waking up without Jesus. Yeah, I get smacked down with the a fireball from heaven. I think we're going to see him pretty cool pretty soon. And they're not going to be cool. I mean, um, okay guys. So as soon as my sky stopped raining, I'm going to get my telescope lenses that I ordered from Amazon in the mail. I got one that's a 190, no, 196 degree widescreen, um, uh, macro. And so I'm going to turn my 4k phone into like high dollar, you know, high dollar camera, real camera. Anyways, Russ, you ever did this guy? Right here, beautiful, Russ. Beautiful. Look at that. Sneaky little planets in there, little suns, little dogs. Amen, angel. It's called the grace of God. I mean, you know, the scriptures say that you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, right? And so in Christ Jesus, in him, in his word and prayer and a relationship with Christ Jesus, you are the righteousness of God. Now, even when you step out, knowingly or unknowing, you still are. 
But you just got to take that position again. You got to say, I am the righteousness of God. And there's no condemnation of shame. That's why Jesus died. That's why his blood was spilled. So you could say that. You could say, God, receive me back. I blew it. I messed up. You know, and Jesus would be like, I know. That's why I came. That's why I decided to die in the garden. I drank the cup. You know, remember, he drank the cup in the garden. And so, you know, you guys will start hearing me. I'm kind of pleading with some of you to, you know, bow your knee to Jesus. And I know some of you are secretively bowing your knee to Jesus. But, you know, I don't care if it's secretively. Eventually, you're going to tell somebody. Um, but you keep coming back. You keep hearing the same message. Jesus loves you. You know, don't wait for the second that, like, the rapture comes and you think, I mean, like, the rapture comes. You know it's the rapture because you've been hearing me talk about it. And then, boom, it's too late. You're here for hell. You know, this is just some pretty pictures of the sky that look demonic, that look unreal. Like here, this looks like second sun right there, Russ. But, you know, folks, this is really happening. That's why I want to show you Russ's pictures because they're just so sobering this right here. Uh, let's see what else we can find. So repent means to change your mind about God. It's not like a um, secret handshake or nothing. Everybody can do it. Five seconds. So. When I say repent, I always say change your mind about God. Like, believe what he did for you. Jesus says you're not going to be able to meet him without faith anyways. You have to believe in your heart. The best with your mouth. So here we go. Back in the rest is next one. He gets these crazy yellow skies, too. I'm just jumping ahead. Okay, I'm going to jump on his playlist here. So I did this video really, um, really for Russ just to give him a boost on his channel and to, you know, help a bro out. <laughs> help a bro. <laughs> okay, now he says this is his this is his enhanced work, people. Get ready. This is all Kevin McCloy. I don't know if he's a Christian or not, but I have a suspicion that he is. Check out his enhanced skies on our skies today. And one of my comments got mad because I'm showing the skies. Well, I mean, that's what I show. Um, yeah, I could get planets. I could do planets like 500 right now, but I just want to see the sky and the planets and how it all looks together. Right, Like right there, guys. That's a planet. Right there, something, moon, planet. He enhanced it. I like it. I like it. Look, looks scary like that. You know, <laughs> it's mystical looking. Good one, Russ. Good one. Amen, amen, Ellen. So when I say amen, guys, it's not like a religion. I say amen is the same thing as saying hola, like hello. Um, but what it means to me, amen, means so be it. So, you know, like John Lennon wrote a song, let it be, let it be, so be it, so be it, let it be. And I don't believe in what it is is what it is. No, I don't believe in that stuff. I believe in you praying and changing circumstances. So I don't believe what it is is what it is. But I believe, like, when someone says something that's life, let it be. Let it be over me. Amen. I take that. I receive that, God. That's what my amen means. It means, yeah, come on. Do it, Lord. Do it, Jesus. You died for me so I could have a better life. You died for me so all my friends could live. So I just kind of do a little rant preach. <laughs> it's like Sunday today. I don't know why. It's like Sunday yesterday. I don't know why. <laughs> so when someone asks me, what God do you serve? You know, because people say, well, Allah is the same as our God. And I say, no, you know. Well, we have the same Quran and all that, and we have the Torah, and it's the same, and we can show you. Nope, I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's my final word on that. And that's the correct God of the God I serve. Um, the rest of that's been blended a lot on their Quran and whatever. I don't mean to be offensive, but I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and that's like the seal of like the true and living God. All my ancestors, you know, David, Daniel, everybody. You know, I'm just a brother from another mother, angel. Another angel, just a brother from another mother. Same daddy, Father God. Abba, 
Well, Father, when people ask me, do you really believe Jesus speaks to you like that, Chris? Huh? Well, I do. Absolutely have a relationship. I know his voice. See, like right now, I believe that I'm on here because, um, you know, he's saying, like, show, show Russ's stuff. Bless your brother, Russ. Look at that, guys. Woo! Check it out. I'm like, gotta like that. But I bless my brother at the same time. I get to tell you about my friend Jesus. But you know, I never try to get too obnoxious. I'm just so excited about Jesus. I can't help but tell you about him. Come on, people. I can't help but tell you about, you know, right there. Check that out. I'm excited about showing you that right there. Look at that. Oh, baby. Go, Russ. That was a bad. That one's bad to the bomb. Bam. As as Malibu would say, bam on that one. Come on. Big red orb. Big red planet. Got Jesus on that one, Russ? I do. Look at that hole in the middle, guys. Right there. See that hole in the middle? Dark star, right? The red planet. So, you know, my channel, it's, it's like sw swap and bait, but it's not really because I'm not selling you nothing. I don't get a lot of tips. I mean, I make about $1,000. I think last year I made $1,000 total on YouTube. And if you did the hourly wage, I think I was making like point zero zero two cents a video but it didn't matter because i did it because uh, the lord told me to do it or jesus told me to do it i heard him tell me to do it and he says i want you to encourage these people some are afraid some of them don't know what they're going to do and some of them believe lies and they know they're believing lies so he says you go tell them the truth i love them i'm waiting for them and uh you just keep inviting them even if they get mad at you just keep inviting another guy get mad at me the other day on a, on a comment he's mad because he's mad about hearing me rant about jesus well I don't apologize for ranting about Jesus, you know, and I love every one of you guys. I don't want to see one of you guys unsubscribe at all. Right. But I, what I do want to ask you is meet my friend Jesus, you know, and if it makes you mad, forgive me. But I, I don't apologize for saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't because um, it's, it's not a religion. It's a relationship. Look, let me just show you this. I'll show what I mean. Show you what I mean. I'm gonna let Russ's thing run run out there, and I'm gonna show you something. Yeah, I picked this image up for you guys. I thought you would like it. it says Jesus is my savior, not my religion. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm showing you this why that commercial showing, but um, you guys see the Samuel Hoffman diagram right here. You can see the sky example, but this is what you're looking at. It's pretty current. You know when you see what you look, it looks like that big white sun and the purple color comes in right there. Um, I can show you a bigger picture of this in a little bit. See the green back there? Okay, so let's see what Russ's channel is showing. Commercials? I don't want no stinking commercials. Here we go. Anyways, I'm just being real with you people. That's what it's all about for me. I mean, I love watching the planet come through. It's awesome. You know, I, what, I, what I want, I used to have a ministry that I called in Visalia, California. It was called The Refuge. And what I wanted people to experience at my meetings were uh, like a refuge, like a place of peace. You know, a good place. I'm going to another video. So same with my channel here. I want you guys to feel safe. I don't want you to I don't want you to feel like no one's lying to you. I'm not lying about anything. This is a little clip in Michigan. Let's look at this one. So that's, that's my goal is a, like the piano there. Just peace, love. What you got here, Russ? Woo. I started preaching. I lost half my number. I love it. You know what that means to me? That means maybe half those people that jumped off got mad at hearing the gospel or it affected them. And they're just like, I got to go think about that for a minute, you know, because heart to heart talk, guys. Not, not a lot of people going to preach heart to heart. You know, I'm going to just preach it heart to heart. When Jesus saved me, he was so real to me. I could think, Jesus, go touch that man 20 feet away and the man would get affected. No lie. No lie. And so I began to build that relationship with the Holy Spirit. And so like. You know, even like right now, I feel the presence of God on I me. Mean, 
And so I just release it to you because I have the ability, like Jesus, to bring miracle signs, wonders, the supernatural. You can feel his presence right now. It's not the piano playing, giving you warm fuzzies. It's not my voice that's so great. It's the presence of God, you know. Come on, Russ. What happened? It's supposed to be keeping up. Oh, I want you to see this. So my show's a little different, people, but you know something? I don't I had to get used to this. I don't apologize for you know see for an all channel or and so out of my vision of having the wormwood vision, I'm into all this stuff. I didn't believe in UFOs. I believed in Ezekiel 10. Wilt in the wheel is like a UFO. I believe that was true. Now I believe that it was a UFO. And I believe God was using a UFO. Yeah. That looks pretty creepy right there, right, guys? I mean, I like it. And I like it a lot. <laughs> no weapon angel formed against you will prosper. And every mouth that rises up in condemnation or against you. I condemn in Jesus' name. See, God's given us power to help each other. And so a lot of us, you know, on the internet, you see a lot of Christians running around bad-mouthing people, too. They need to get over their religion, get back into the relationship with Jesus. And when Jesus said, like, return to me, he wasn't rebuking you like, you know, you wasn't with me, but return to your first love or your first thing, the first deed that you did. The first thing you did when you met Jesus was, you believed him. You believed that he was a savior. What you did was you confessed him because you believed in your heart. And you said, no, this is real. So that was the first deed you did. So again, return to him and confess him as Lord. That's your first deed. And then return to him and fall in love where it's like I'm running down the street telling everybody about my new girlfriend because I'm so excited about Jesus. So that's my message today, guys. Return to your first love. Great skies, uh, our skies today. That is some creepy looking demonic stuff there. Whoa! What in the world? So, a little heart to heart. What's this? Thursday night. So, you guys feel safe here, you know? Subscribe if you didn't. Uh, take it in, listen to it. You know, and I'm going to show everything. I don't care. And I'll say whatever God tells me to say coronavirus, Trump, Obama. I don't really get political because it doesn't mix with the uh, Holy Spirit's like oil and the government's like vinegar. So it's like salad dressing, right? But the, the vinegar don't go with God. It just don't mix. It's like pol political stuff and God issues. God issues can't be put in the same box with the political stuff. It's just too much higher. Too much higher reality. Oh, look at this, guys. Purple skies. You guys go over to our skies today and you give them a like and a, sh a thumbs up and tell them Chris is talking all kinds of good stuff about them. <laughs> Amen, Angel. Well, thank you, Angel, for joining my channel. And these strong believers like you guys. There you go. Big blue never rue coming through. Enhanced, of course. That's enhanced with the filter. It is. But it's just enhancing what's already there, the blue. All right, guys, I like that blue sky. I'm going to end it on that blue note, that cobalt blue sky. Russ, I hope you see this video. Thank you, brother, for all your hard work. Douglas, thank you for your work. Shining, thank you for your work. Ken, thank you for your work. Gail, thank you for your work. You guys all work on my channel, won't you? <laughs> There's about 75 researchers on my channel, I think. God bless all of you people. Have a good night. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your COVID patient is? Who are you praying for? You know, remember that commercial? It's 1010. Do you know where your child is back in the 70s? If it's 1010. Do you know where your COVID patient is that you're praying for today? <laughs> I just said that. I don't know. <laughs> Bye, guys. Later.